What's up guys? I'm making a cyberpunk video to try to help anyone that's struggling with their frame rate on cyberpunk or anyone that just wants to make some improvements. Hopefully this video will help somebody get better results. I run a 3800X with a 5700XT GPU. I'm a 1440p ultra wide player and I'm used to gaming at, you know, 80 to 100 FPS. When I first started playing um, cyberpunk, I was getting uh, averaging around 50 FPS, I believe. It was, I was fluctuating between 40 and 60. And, um, you know, they, they had they had a lot of my settings set to high or maybe even ultra, if that's a, a term they use in their settings. But I ended up putting everything on medium mostly. After I found a solution that works for me, you know, through my settings in and outside of the game, I did get my frame rate back up to averaging around 90 FPS. And uh, so I kind of basically doubled what I was getting almost. Towards the end of this video, I'll leave segments of gameplay from one mission. There'll be interior and exterior clips. So you can see the frame rate that I'm getting on my hardware with these changes. I think a 5700 XT or 2070 is, uh, is what a lot of people should, <laughs> should consider to be the best thing, best available options, even though those cards are kind of inflated right now because, you know, I don't know, companies and people being silly, but anyway, at the end of the video, for my AMD users like myself, I'll leave an extra bonus tip at the end. It's pretty, it might be pretty critical to anybody that uses an AMD GPU. Um, if you haven't tried the suggestion I'll have before, it may help you a ton. Whether you have a NVIDIA GPU or AMD GPU, the settings I'm about to go over, though they're in my Radeon software, uh, I believe in the NVIDIA software has similar or maybe close to the exact same options in it. And uh, what I'll be going over is setting your dynamic resolution scaling options. I know some people are kind of uh, resolution snobs and you know some people only want 4K, some people only want 1440p, and you know some people just find a 1080p. But to me, if your hardware allows for it, you should be trying to get to 60 FPS first, 1080p, 60 FPS, and then, you know, deciding whether you want more FPS or more resolution. Because, you know, if you, if you can't just go out to the store and buy a 3080 to fix your problem, to me, it seems like the next best option is reduce your resolution slightly to make life easier on your GPU. But moving along, here's the minor changes I made in my AMD Radeon software. In the Radeon software, you want to go to gaming. For me, well, yeah, for me, since I, since I have Cyberpunk open, it takes me to my Cyberpunk uh, specific settings first. Um, I, don't, I didn't change anything on here really, except under it, the advanced tab, um, this, surface, this surface format optimization is uh, enabled. I don't remember enabling that, but I think it uh, changes I made in my global settings might have automatically turned this on. So I'm not sure about that. But, but really what you wanna do is go to global graphics because the, the setting you need to change is not available out here. But yeah, once you go to global, you will see Radeon Boost. That's what you wanna turn on. Because uh, Radeon Boost what it says is it dynamically reduces resolution during motion to improve performance with little perceptible impact on image quality. So uh, it's it's going to dynamically, you know, depending on the power of your GPU and uh, the what the game you're playing is demanding. As you move, it'll start reducing your resolution to keep your frame rate a little higher. And, and whenever you're sitting perfectly still it'll be giving you your, you know, your your maximum uh, resolution that you have your game set to. So all you do is you turn it on and um, I have my minimum set to 83%, but uh, you can set it to 66% or I believe 50 is the lowest option on here. But um, 80, 83 is working for me. Um, and it, like I said, uh, 80, 83% of 1440p is still just shy of 1200p. So. You know, you, you're you're barely losing, a, you know, much uh, resolution. But I think the way it stabilizes your average FPS can be hugely beneficial. And now let's get into the in-game settings changes I made. 
Uh, you can kind of copy what you see here if you want to, but I'll try to talk through them as well. But the first thing uh, we need to go to is graphics. And um, as you can see here, I left my texture quality on high because my GPU has enough RAM to uh, handle high textures. Uh, my field of view is at 100. You, can, you know, you can change it however you need to. Uh, I, I leave film grain on because I like it, but you can turn it off if you're trying to get maximum performance. I have everything else turned off in this section. Uh, motion blur off <laughs> for sure. Uh, con I got contact shadows off and, and as you can see, I have everything on medium, mostly everything on medium, distance shadows on low and um, my level of detail on high. That's something else you can turn down if you uh, want to squeeze out a little bit more performance. Oh yeah, it's very bottom of the resolution scaling. Um, this is the most important section, I believe. I have dynamic fidelity FX cast on, and that, that basically gives you the, this resolution scaling option. And, um, and you may have to have this turned on in your NVIDIA or Radeon software to even see that option in here. But yeah, I have my target frame rates per second set to 99 because my monitor refresh rate is 100 hertz. And my minimum resolution, I have it set to 60. My maximum resolution is set to 80. But this setting here really may or may not matter in my case because as you saw earlier in my AMD settings, I have my minimum resolution set to 83. So really none of this may matter because I've got it set higher than both of these options in my AMD settings. 83% uh, of 1440p is still just shy of 1200p. So I'm still playing it well over 1080p. And then once we get into video, uh, you know, monitor that's just set to my, whatever your main monitor is. V-Sync is off of course. Uh, maximum FPS on and you have to turn that on so you can see your um, FPS slider and here again I set my max to 99 because you know I have a 100 Hertz monitor so yeah hopefully after you've made these changes maybe your frame rate will double like mine did or you know even if it was just gain extra 10 or 20 that should help but yeah here's a few extra segments of gameplay that'll show you uh, how my computer is performing now in different exterior and interior environments from one mission. But yeah, you can check these out. And then after there's these two or three clips, uh, I'll have the bonus for the AMD guys at the end. Pardon the overlay on my FPS counter. At the bottom center of my screen, you'll see an overlay because I have a demo version of this software. So you, you can just ignore that message at the bottom center. Targets Sandra Dorset. Targets Biomon went mute a couple hours back. Suspected abduction. Target could have possibly flatlined already. Not sure you're in time. We're in time, Bug. We. Sure you're on phones, but that don't make you any less part of this squad. Squad. Charming. Bug. Could at least try to be... nice. You want nice, supportive? Call a damn helpline. Target should be inside, but I got zero eyes on her biomon. Fingers crossed it's not too late. Is that you? Ugh, I hate this life or death shit. Hurry. Try hacking the door. Think you can trip it on your own, V?
Sandra Dorset, NC570442. Trauma Team Platinum. Platinum? Shit. Trauma should have swooped in if she sneezed. Guessing they jammed the transmitter, Sig. Looking at a hacked biomon, firmware reconfig, or a neurovirus. Ain't no belief in no faith. Every day digging the brain. Stepping up there with snakes. City of dreams, city of game. You don't believe in no faith. Can't stop digging night city like any other just bigger nah chica not just any other city Morgan black hand had the wheeling adam smasher legends are born here Okay. Let's just focus on getting home. Because only somebody with a heart of gold can understand just how much I need to get back to my girl. They say your girl. Fuck this city. Uh huh. Gonna be worried sick if I don't show. Fuck this city, my I mean, I'm trying to be a stand-up guy. My voice, She's giving me a chance. My back, my gas, they strap all black. That's a shame. Standing myself for the rest, never forgetting the past, living the blast, popping them off as I go. See you when Let them through, but they don't laugh. Do it for the money. I just do okay. it for the Okay, on your way. You have a good evening now, officer. Um, always. I'm always never not nice. You live in your grave. City of dreams, city of gang, gang, gang. Tell Misty I said hi. I will. Hi, luego. Now for the bonus from AMD users. This option may or may not be limited to uh, only higher end AMD GPUs, but I'm not sure on that. But uh, what you wanna do is go to performance and then tuning, and then you wanna make sure it's set on manual. By default, it's on automatic if you never mess with this, but make sure you set it to manual. And the only thing you wanna mess with, turn on, the only thing you wanna turn on is power tuning. You enable that and then you'll see a power limit bar pop up and you just want to max that out whatever your max is max it out but if 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 a game is giving you crashes it seems like you know turning this meter up it's introducing more crashes for you so just start walking it back slowly by you know two to two to five percent until you no longer are crashing anytime you update a driver on your amd software or anytime you restart your computer or anytime your computer crash, first thing you should do is come back to this page and make and reset your power limit to whatever percentage you found works for you. But yeah, hopefully these changes will help you out a lot or at least a little. <laughs> uh, like I said, you know, <laughs> whether you're AMD or NVIDIA, hopefully this video has helped you out. Cyberpunk seems like it's a really good game. And you know, we all need all the game we can get.